what's up guys uh, for those of you that don't know which probably no one does but I have uh, one hell of an active imagination which I I always have a bunch of uh, like story ideas or whatever running through my head and thought I'd share one with you today I don't I mean, I'm actually seriously thinking about uh, writing it, actually. And that's, uh, and I, it's like superhero related, but also it's horror, because I, I love anything horror. So I guess it'd be like a superhero horror story. Will I, it, if I do write it, will would I ever release it? Probably not, because it's going to have a lot of uh, famous people in it, actually. So there's no way I could ever, like, actually publish it and release it into stores, but... But that's what, like, a platform like this is for YouTube. I could give you a rough idea of what it is. And even if I do write it, it's probably just going to be for my, uh, for my own, you know, just my own use. And if I ever did make copies and give it away and all that, it couldn't sell it, obviously. Here it goes. Here's here's my idea for a superhero horror story. Oh yeah, and before I begin, I mean I could make copies and then just give it away to subscribers or whatever. Or I could write it and then just read it in parts here on YouTube. I'll figure that out when the time comes. Uh, my idea is pretty much it's still a work in progress with the title, but the superhero of the story, the only name I could come up with is uh, the, and I don't even know, maybe this really is an actual uh, name of a superhero. There's so many, but... <laughs> It's called the Avenging Angel. Now, I'm not going to, like, tell you everything, you know, that happens in case I ever do put it out somewhere or, or give it away to people, but our story starts, it's like, a couple years ago, and obviously I write myself into it, so... Me and my family, me and my, my family, uh, I'm going to say it's, uh, on a holiday, uh, let's say Halloween, because that's obviously when you think of Halloween and being this is a horror, horror thing and Halloween's kind of associated with horror. So let's say, yeah, let's say it's Halloween. I haven't quite figured out the details of, of whether we're, you know, handing out candy or, or even if it's on Halloween night or what, yeah, but it's in October, so it's Halloween time. And me and my, my, me and my family are, you know, just together. That's me, girlfriend. Um, Say so also my, my mom, my dad, brother, and sister. When we hear, and say it's, it's nighttime. We... We hear, you know, this strange, like, noise coming from outside. 
So my brother goes to check it out. When all of a sudden we hear a, a gunshot. So, you know, we're all getting scared. We go to check. We go to check it out when... Anyways, we go to check it out and we look out the window and we see my brother laying, laying on, say, face down, you know, in the, on the ground with a pool of blood forming. So we all go outside, we all go outside, we all go outside when we see these like group of masked men just standing over them. Then I just say next thing the th the whole event turns into a hostage uh, situation. <laughs> they attack all of us, force us back inside and tie us all up and they don't even say a word. They don't even say a word. They're all silent. <clears throat> and they tie us up in chairs. And they they pull out a bunch of knives and pretty much start torturing us. Eventually, you know, and it gets it gets really bloody. That's another thing too. I, when it comes to horror movies, uh, more blood the more blood the better. So this, it gets really bloody. I mean, they're sta they're stabbing us, shooting us, you know, in the arms, the legs. My and my, you know, the rest. I mean, my family's just screaming at the top of their lungs. They're, and you know, one by one, first time I ever smoked in a video. Hopefully this don't get, uh, hopefully this don't get, uh, if YouTube even allows this. So one by one, my family's all brutally slaughtered. They eventually turn, you know, they get to my girlfriend. They, sl you know, they, they slit her throat. <coughs> then they, event then they eventually get to me. <laughs> Pretty much, and they just, the one is just right, you know, over me just, repeatedly just sticking a knife right right in my chest <coughs> how they even shoot they even shoot you know they're shooting me too stabbing me all over the place they kick one of them kicks me back and we're pretty much all, we're all dead. <laughs> then they leave the house. But little do they know. Somehow miraculously, I survive. I'm in a I'm in a coma though, and you know, flash forward 
two years, or say two, two to three years later. New York City at uh, Madison Square Garden. Let's just say it's a. Uh, this is where the famous, uh, the famous, uh, the my famous uh, people in the story come in. Let's just say it's a Cassidy Pope uh, concert. I just say, and this is where some, some of my story gets really hot, sexy, too. I'm, I'm adding stuff like that into it. Just say she's wearing, uh, what she's wearing in her new uh, music video tomorrow night. Speaking of that, she really does look hot in that. Pretty much just wearing a bra in it, but that's what she's wearing up on stage. And, uh, and that's the song she. Let's just say that's the song she'll be singing. Anyways, uh, when all these these masked men, <laughs> not sure if it's the same ones or not. That's. A mystery but they rush the stage they start attacking uh, Cassidy's band but before before they can get to her this uh, masked man shows up and that's and this is where the avenging angel makes his uh, first appearance in the story this is also kind of like a mystery, too. You may be led to think it's, since I survived uh, the massacre, or my, you know, that massacre that happened with me and my family, that it could be me. And I don't, I don't want to give it away if it is me, or maybe it's somebody else. But anyways, the avenging angel shows up and just say he kicks some uh, serious ass. <laughs> I mean, he he takes out every. Let's just say there's, and I never did say how many uh, masked men were that killed my family, but. Say there's about five, six of them. But this time with uh, when they're at the ones that rush the stage and start attacking uh, Cassidy's band, say there's about ten of them. But the avenging angel takes takes out every single one of them. That's when the the police or the there's. The security, I should say, they they call the police, and the police arrive, and these guys are hauled off in handcuffs. But you know, by the time they get there, the avenging angel is already gone. He's he's already uh, he's already taken off. But let's just say. Uh, Cassidy actually, Cassidy actually also, you know, goes with him because she's, she needs to know the, the identity of the man that saved her life. That's really the uh, part one of uh, the story idea that I have, and I've also got, you know, maybe, uh, the, the avenging angel in Cassidy actually 
she she wants to thank them uh, for saving her. So maybe they have sex. <laughs> and uh, and obviously the mystery of it is is the the avenging angel. You know, is it me? Is it somebody else that was wronged, or you know that that's out to avenge? You know, people to get revenge. Really, that's part, that's really what I've come up with uh, so far. I have an idea of where the story's going to go, but, and whether the avenging angel is me or it's not me. Really, that's all I got right now. I'll catch you guys later.